Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Tab Benoit. coming out tonight and, uh, and allowing us to do a little touring again. How about that? Yeah. Here we go. First song goes like this. <laughs>
What's the matter with the place we live in? Did Mother Nature get it wrong? Rush the Delta and the name of changing. And dig it till it's dead and gone. Now, what you gonna tell the children? What you gonna tell the trees? Now what you gonna tell the spirit? When the heart of the man you bleed There's a whole lot of something So 
me anymore. Picture on the TV. I, I, I bought some wine at the grocery store and the girl carted me. And I felt really like, I felt like I was sneaking one over on her when I pulled out my license and it didn't look like me. It was like, oh, uh, that's when I had short hair. She's like, yeah, right. You're like, come on, are you seriously gonna question my age? What else can I show you? I have no idea where that goes. <laughs> Y'all, uh, this, uh, this is new for me. I still laugh when I look in the mirror. <laughs> like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> I've been a musician all my life and never had hair that looked like a musician. <laughs> I always had hair that looked like a Republican lawyer. <laughs> So this is it. That's the jokes I got. That's it. I'm joking. More shit will come later. Don't y'all worry. We're going to be here for a while. Two nights. We get to do two nights right here. Which means we don't have to tear down all of this gear after this show. Y'all give it up for the guys in the band. Ain't but three of us up here. Corey Duplassin on the bench. Terrence Higgins on the drums. All right, uh, if y'all got requests, let me know, because that's why we're here, to play for y'all. One per customer, please. <laughs> I'll try to do the ones that I remember. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta think about it. I, you know, I didn't play for almost a year, and then played in November for a little while, and I hadn't played since then. But I've been getting pretty good at carpentry <laughs> and a little plumbing. And I'm an amateur electrician now. <laughs> Take two wires, touch it to your tongue. Yep, that's hot. <laughs> that's right. It made my hair curly. Thank you for the jokes. That's right. I'll use that for the next audience. And I'll tell them I made it up. All right, here's a song that somebody requested. I think they requested it, I don't know. I'm just here to have fun with y'all because this is like, it's a unique experience again. All right. I sure do miss her. I can't. 
hunted him. She packed the bags y'all should have seen. The big suitcase full of turnip green. Now oh, she's gone up to the city. I still got mud on her shoes. She got one foot in New York City.
sees a one who can love and tell and pray for I want to feel her in my arms as I fall asleep tonight. Just a silence of a thing like a touch can bring me comfort.
There's something in the water that's calling my name If I work another hour, I'ma go insane I'm Drifting to the places I would rather be
Y'all doing all right? <laughs> all right, man. Here's another song that uh, somebody requested. This is an all request weekend on Monday. And Tuesday. You know, it's a weekend every day for us that we get to play music, that's right. I mean, I have a job where they hand me liquor and tell me, get on stage and do your work. What a, what a great job that is, right? It's in my contract. <laughs> it's really for my throat. See, I'm a little hoarse tonight. <laughs> So that seems to help out. I mean, it was prescribed to me by a very famous doctor, Dr. Buddy Guy. The first time I played at Buddy Guy's club, I had lost my voice. I'd been singing like 13, 14 gigs straight. And it was in the winter time, like in the, up in the frozen tundra of the Dakotas and the Montanas and all of those places where nobody goes in the winter except me, because I had four-wheel drive, and my booking agent knew it. They were like, hey, there's a bunch of money over there in the snow. Y'all go get it for us, and we'll give you a percentage. And when you get there, you get to play music. How about that? Like, wow, that sounds great. So I did, and I showed up at Buddy's, and I was like, I had nothing, and I'm singing, and you know, it's the first time I played at Buddy Guys. This is a place I had been looking forward to playing for a long time, you know? Like the mecca of the blues world to me. <clears throat> Buddy's there, and he's standing at the bar, and every time I'm trying to get words out, he got his arms crossed, and he's like. And I'm drinking water, and he's looking at me, he's going. <sighs> he comes back took a break and come back in the dressing room and said, what you drinking up there? I said, water. He said, that's just bad for you. <laughs> Drink some of this. And took a sip and all of a sudden I could talk again. I'm like, wow, this works. And he said, go easy, son. It's your first time. And so I did and I told him that story and he said, yeah, that's why I drink it, <laughs> for my voice. And you heard Buddy Guy sing, I'm not going to argue with that. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, yes. <laughs> Just little tricks of the trade that y'all didn't need to know. But I told you anyway, I'm going to play. Just hold on. I got a microphone, and I feel like talking. It happens sometimes. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not here to just bombard y'all with music. First of all, y'all sitting there like sitting and looking at me. And when people are sitting down looking at you, you feel like you need to say something to them. Like, what, what? It's just a natural thing, you know? 
I'm going to just do what's natural. I will. It's coming. It's going to be so awesome when I finally start playing again. The longer I drag this out, the more awesome it's going to be. do those every now and then. All right, that was it. Uh, I just wrote that. If you recorded that, please don't put it out. It's not copyrighted yet. Dig back into my uh, old bag of tricks with this one. See if y'all remember. She's a one thing. And my life now that's real and true. She said it's over We all knew Cause I would wait here Until the end of time For her to change her mind Lord, and love me like she used to Oh, 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 oh,
just goodbye. And she up and walks away with not a tear in her eye. Lord, I don't feel just gonna have to sing the blues if that's what I have to do. Lord, I'm just gonna play the blues, y'all. So 
Let's see your life of a creep It starts when you're always afraid You step out of line They come and they take you away Stop, stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down
Let's get out. Come uh, play that organ with us. Come on, Al. Thank you. 
south Trying to work my way back home I'm traveling the south Trying to work my way back home I'm so broke and hungry Ain't got no money for the telephone Well I feel so tired sometimes I'm thinking about selling down Yes, I feel so tired sometimes Thinking about seven dollars. But I got so many more miles until I reach the next town. I'm traveling south, traveling south, traveling south, traveling south. I'm traveling south, traveling south, traveling south, traveling south. I'm traveling south, trying to work my way back.
Now what would this world be without B.B. King? Without Bobby Blue Bland, y'all doing his thing. Without T-Bone Walker and Howlin' Wolf. Without Bessie and Big Mama strutting their stuff.
Thank y'all, thank y'all. music to my ears right there. You think I do this for the money? No way. I do this, I, I do this for y'all and for that sound that y'all make. I do not play at home, like at all, for myself. Only when I'm writing songs, it's the only time I really play. I don't sit around and play guitar all the time. I got too much other shit to fix. Because I've been putting it off for 30 years, you know? I've been on the road for a while, and you know, we, it was a little break that we had here. Kind of a welcome break, if you ask me, because there was a lot of stuff I needed to get done. Like rotten wood. Anybody got rotten wood? Yeah, me too keep putting it off, guess what happens? It keeps rotting more. So, you know, I got all of that stuff done. And uh, I'm stalling until J.P. Soares comes up here. I know that just y'all, one of y'all local heroes right here. I, mean, it's good to have him here, y'all. Uh, we, we, I did an album with JP. What? Hey Chris, you here too? What? Oh, Chris Pizza, come on up, man. Let's do a song from JP. Chris, down, Chris, huh? Chris, Chris, Chris. Yeah, man. All right, cool. We get we get to play it like it went on the record. We had a, we had a lot of fun uh, doing JP's album. I mean, the first time he came to my studio and uh, oh, with the, uh, the the Southern Hospitality guys, that was the first time uh, that JP had come and record with me, and he thought I was crazy because I told him I didn't want to hear no demo tapes. It's like, no, we're going to make it up now. I want everything to be natural and, and honest and, um, you know, in the moment. And JP ended up liking that way of recording so much that he came back to do more of that, let's just play and play what we feel right now and put that out and make that a record instead of rehearsing it. <laughs> and overriding everything, you know? Let's just play. Let's do what we feel. So that's what we did. And, and so we're gonna do it again. Oh yeah, I played drums on JP's album, so I'm gonna do that right now. How about it for Tab and Wall, y'all? And thanks for him letting me get up here and play. And Al played this one for sure, too. And uh, Tab wrote the lyrics to this one, because all I had was the one part, Lonely Fire.
part of the JP, Chris P. We're gonna do one more for y'all. Once again, thank everybody for being here tonight and thank you how everybody at Funky Biscuit for staying open so that we can do this. Pick up JP's album. He owes me money. <laughs> a lot, a lot of money. Big, serious amounts of money. No, it's, it's but do uh, please do pick his album up. I'm sure he brought something with him. You didn't bring any with you? All right, he didn't bring any with him. Because that would be crazy to go to somebody else's gig and bring your shit to sell. <laughs> But what he didn't know is I'm the guy that would allow, allow him to sell his shit here. Because I'm on it, and he owes me money. All right, all the guys with hair on this side of the stage. All the guys without on that side. <laughs> it's like a basketball game. <laughs> it's hair, hair against... Hair against no hair. Hair against skins? Yeah, hair against skins. <laughs> All right, hair versus skins. Here we go. I love y'all. I love everybody that loves the blues. I love these guys. And y'all are my medicine. <laughs>
Ah!